Microsoft in its latest statement on the major global outage that has created chaos everywhere, causing the collapse of essential systems including in hospitals, markets and also banking services, has said that the underlying cause has been fixed but the residu residual impact remains. This as uh, major airlines across the world said that the outage has adversely affected their flight operations and also check-in processes including in Delhi, Mumbai, almost 1400 flights have been cancelled today and banking and healthcare shops have also been affected. Cybersecurity firm CrowdStrike, which is also being blamed for this, says a defect in one of its software updates hit Windows operating systems and clarified that there was no cyber attack. The biggest visible impact, however, has been seen at airports across uh, the world. In fact, specifically in India, Civil Aviation Minister Ram Mohan Naidu has said that uh, he has spoken on the delays and chaos. He has asked airlines and airports uh, uh, using manual methods to ensure that they are compassionate towards passengers and that passengers are provided with enhanced uh, communication when it comes to these unexpected delays. He has also specified that regular updates should be given to flyers. What we also hear is that over 100 flights have also been uh, in some ways cancelled or in some ways uh, uh, redirected. Uh, joining me now is uh, uh, my colleague who has been reporting this uh, from the ground. Ishika, tell us what is the latest on this that we have? How many flights uh, have been cancelled? Because Microsoft has come out with a statement talking about the residual impact. Uh, do you see the situation improving? 160 flights affected in last four hours. Uh, what is the number right now? Asada, if you can hear me, uh, at the moment I am at the Hyderabad uh, airport scheduled to be boarding a flight to New Delhi, which is uh, ironically on time. So uh, what we're understanding at the Hyderabad airport is that they have moved to a contingency mode, uh, which is a paper mode. Um, primarily what we're given to understand at the moment is that flights are taking off, flights are landing. These are disruptions that are taking place because of the outage. By disruptions, I mean certain delays and cancellations. Predominantly, these are delays. And as uh, you know, the, the as the airport systems operate, we understand that if there is a delay for a couple of minutes, also in the day, it has a domino effect to the course of the day, disrupting other flights as well. So, what we're understanding uh, at the moment in terms of flight operations at Hyderabad Airport is that there are over a hundred flights that have been delayed. Some flights have been cancelled. Predominantly, it is Indigo, uh, which is reporting cancellations as well as delays, simply because they have the maximum number of inbound and outbound flights from the Hyderabad airport. Uh, what we can also report at the moment is that uh, most of the airports, at least I can say that for Hyderabad airport, uh, it's been over four hours and counting now that they have moved to a manual mode. There are certain systems which are working. So they are being able to get the boarding passes out, but they are having to manually write on all of those boarding passes. I have to say that screens that were uh, completely out, uh, based on what we've been reporting for the last four hours, uh, at least at Hyderabad Airport, I can say that screens are predominantly back on. So most uh, display screens across the airport, which is cru gives crucial information for flight schedules, for gate numbers, etc., all of those screens are back on. However, I have to say that the check-in counter, especially Indigo again, there are several of those screens that are still not working. So this is the situation uh, that we're reporting at Hyderabad Airport. Um, it is one of those days where uh, uh, the weather also can play a spoiler. It's, of course, monsoon, so there are anticipated delays uh, because of the weather as well. Uh, no information, though, has been shared by the airlines to passengers of intimating delays in advance. Uh, so it is a bit of a go-by-fly attitude as far as most airlines are concerned. They've warned of certain disruptions and delays. But when I called ahead uh, to take my flight back to Delhi, uh, the airline was completely non-committal on any kind of delay and disruption to my flight. Um, so it is you have to come to the airport. You have to read the board outside the airport to figure it out. Uh, like I said, the situation is limping back to normalcy. And most airlines have... Uh, you know, shifted to plan B and contingency mode. 
so manual boarding passes are being issued most screens are working uh, but the systems largely are still down and what uh, staff has told us off record of course is that it's been four and a half hours now that they've been writing manual boarding passes resulting in long queues and large wait times so that's the situation at least as far as hyderabad airport is concerned basuda Rishika, also tell us, uh, uh, you know, uh, the Civil Aviation Minister Ramo Naidu has come up with an important statement asking, in fact, putting the onus uh, on airlines and, uh, uh, you know, asking them uh, to be extremely compassionate when it comes to passengers who have been stranded since morning. He's asked them for enhanced communi uh, communication to be given out to passengers. He's asked them uh, to ensure that there's adequate food and water. And uh, he has specifically said that there needs to be clarity that needs to be given to passengers uh, when it comes to these unexpected. expected delays do you think any of that is happening uh, in hyderabad specifically you know because the number of flights is you know the 160 flights across the country uh, that have been affected do you think so, any anything of that sort is happening on ground any action uh, specifically in benefit of the passengers i can tell you what i'm seeing anecdotally on the ground at hyderabad airport uh, there are no chaotic scenes yes there are long queues um and people are uh, a lot of people are standing outside the terminal also uh, in order to be able to get information on whether they should enter the terminal or whether they're in at what long uh, sort of delays that are affecting their flight but uh, having said that what we're learning at the moment is that uh, passengers are not getting any information um prior to departure so there are no text messages or no updates on the website or anything of that sort uh passengers mostly relying on coming to the airport and then understanding uh you know what the tune of delay is or what the status of their flight is yes so as far as communication is concerned i think uh, airlines are still trying to figure that piece out even though it has been four hours and counting like i said there's also a domino effect uh, of delays Going and disruptions that is taking place so no first hand information no prior information that is available unfortunately passengers are having to come to the airport uh look at the boards contact the airline counters and then they are being intimated of delays etc so that's the situation on the ground is concerned but i also want to say at least as far as hyderabad airport right. no chaotic scene uh the, the the situation at the airport is being managed and there is enough staff on the ground that is communicating with passengers and ensuring that their needs are taken care of okay thank you rishika for joining us that uh, with that very important update uh, let me go across to my uh, colleague uh, mohammad ghazali who joins us uh, from the from a hospital in delhi uh, uh, ghazali you know uh, apart from banking services and airlines hospitals have also been affected this is uh, uh, this is after this uh, massive global outage that several nations are reeling under this is because of a technical snag that microsoft faced and of course microsoft now has come out with a statement saying that the underlying cause has been fixed but the residue impact remains uh, what are you witnessing outside the hospital because uh, hospitals are completely dependent these days on systems see uh, basuda we have been reporting from different hospitals in the city and some of them had no impact of this outage but this one behind me the max hospital in lajpat nagar had a morning uh, impact of the outage because there was the registrations were not getting done electronically or say on the computer the desktop and laptops which had the windows operating system was not functioning properly but this was fixed within a few hours uh, uh, and the impact was in the early morning for around 3 to 4 hours after which the registration has started happening uh, earlier sh a short while back there was a, a good gathering here of people saying that this thing was not working or the system was not working properly but this has been fixed by now now this is one uh, of the many cases we have seen in certain hospitals in some of the systems the outage showed its impact like uh, in in the chemist shop we have seen that uh, in certain chemist shop the billing was being done electronically on the computer that was working fine but in the same hospital uh, the electronic registration was not happening so it is very random as well because in the same organization some systems did face the impact of the outage while the other section having the same operating system did not face any out impact of that uh, microsoft outage and as far as the banking uh, system is concerned we have been reporting that the financial transactions as well as any financial institution including bank as well as nfcs have not seen any impact of this outage right uh, uh, thank you gazali for joining us with those details that
Let me go across to my colleague Pratibha who has been reporting from the Bengaluru airport. Uh, remember, major airlines across the world have said that the outage has adversely affected their flight operations and also their check-in processes. This has happened in Delhi, Mumbai and Bengaluru as well. Around 1,400 flights have been cancelled. Uh, banking and healthcare and shops have also been affected. Uh, Pratibha, tell us, uh, uh, you had reported earlier that the situation could take up to midnight to sort of in some ways clear out to become normal. Uh, what is the fallout on passengers? you know how uh, it must be very distressful for them what are they saying Absolutely uh, distressing, uh, distressing emotions that are being uh, voiced by several of the passengers here. Backed up. Uh, let me ask my camera person to pan and show you the long queue right outside Indigo. What we hear as the official figures is that uh, 26 flights have been cancelled, including T1 and T2. That's the Terminal 1 and Terminal 2. And uh, a board that has been uh, put out there uh, that will give you a fair picture of uh, the current status. And uh, just for answering that question of yours in terms of how distressed passengers are we are very much distressed there is no one from indigo helping whether it's going to be rescheduled or not we have no idea they are not even telling us where, what is the next step to do they're not giving us accommodation they're not giving us reschedule conformity nothing they're just saying you are on your own we are just giving you refund nothing deep anguish in terms of uh, the passengers the frustration there it's been two hours you know we've been waiting in queue at the last they are saying we can't help you on this. They are not providing an accommodation. They said we will see what to do tomorrow. You to take refund and book another flight tomorrow. Where, Where do you have to go? Uh, we are going to Chandigarh and we have another flight from Chandigarh to Mumbai tomorrow. So now that flight also is we have to cancel. Yeah, there is no option. And it's not our hometown now. We have to book another hotel. We have to pay from our own pocket. They are not giving any solution to us. I can see that there's only uh, bottles of water that is being provided here, but no food. It is very easy to say, you know, you look after whatever you want to do it. Now we don't know now. You know the hotel price is also surging right now, you know. Have you tried for any kind of alternate arrangements, uh, flight bookings for tomorrow, day after? How expensive are, are they? We are trying, but they are very expensive. It's like around for tonight, tomorrow or today, it's going 20, 22,000. We don't want to pay that much. And there is no another rescheduling option these guys are giving, whether tomorrow you can accommodate on the same cost or not. So it's become very difficult for us now. In fact, there are arguments spewing between the passengers and uh, the airline authorities. 26 flights that have been cancelled, like I already mentioned, and most of them happen to be Indigo uh, Airlines. And uh, let me actually see if I can go across to one of them. Ma'am, if you can speak two lines about this. Okay, some of them not even wanting to speak because absolute frustration that has uh, engulfed them at this moment. And uh, that's the picture that we bring to you from uh, Bengaluru Airport here. What we understand is that uh, over 90% of the flights have been disrupted, especially in Terminal 1. And uh, we also hear that 26 flights in all between Terminal 1 and Terminal 2 have been cancelled. None of them have been given any kind of intimation, no messages, nothing that has been uh, that has been sent to them, which is precisely why most of them are baffled here. But the explanation given is that with systems that have crashed, there was absolutely no, uh, 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 it was impossible for them to give any sort of message. Systems have come crashing down. Manual operations were put in place just so that they could take some proactive measures. In fact, some of the boarding passes were, uh, written boarding passes were issued connecting flights because of which were disrupted so if you can speak to lines is it a connecting flight direct flight how inconvenienced are you I, I have been asked to uh, stay at uh, Bangalore for 53 hours it was a layover and uh, now my flight is again cancelled I don't know what to do next and they don't have anything to say so it's very difficult situation for me right. and where do you have to fly to I was flying from Udaipur to Kolkata and Bangalore was a hopping destination 53 hours layover in Bangalore. 53 hours layover and now he does, doesn't know how many more hours that he would have to stay in uh, Bengaluru. Now that's the situation here. Thank you. And uh, most of them seem to say, especially Indigo Airline authorities say that uh, because of the cascading effect of uh, uh, the systems that have come crashing down due to Microsoft outage, they will have to see uh, how they can rectify this and it would go on at least until midnight. And until midnight, we would have to witness these chaotic scenes here at Bengaluru Airport.